So how do we do audio transitions in Final Cut? Now it's quite easy actually, um, so I'll, I'll be able to show you quite simply. If we come down to this clip here, which has audio on it, you can actually see um, this little, little icon here that looks a bit like a guitar pick. You can see as I hover over that, it says fade audio out, and my icon changes. So if I click and drag, you can see now this sort of curve has appeared, and that actually is an audio fade out. So the further I drag this, the longer the audio is going to fade out over. Now we can change some things about this. So if I right click on it, you can see there's different options for how that transition happens. You can have a linear fade, S curve, a plus three or a minus three fade. So sometimes you want to have a play about with these and see what sounds best. Now the other option that we have when it comes to audio transitions is doing J cuts and L cuts. Now this is basically when the audio for one clip overlaps the audio from another. So I'll show you how to do that here. All you need to do is right click on your clip and click expand audio. And now you can see that we've got a separation between the audio and the video. They're not actually detached, so I can't move them independently of each other, but I can now extend the audio past the point of the video. So the audio is still in sync, it's just starting earlier than the video. Now this is a great way of creating a J cut. Why is it a J cut? Well, if you look at the shape, we've got a line and then the audio comes like this, like a J. That's why it's called a J cut. So the audio starts here and a common thing to do is sort of add a fade and then a fade out on the previous clip. So that's how to do a J cut and an L cut is very similar. If I take us back. Now, a, a common thing that happens is uh, people don't know how to collapse the audio again. Just right click on it and collapse audio and it goes back to being a single clip. If you did, if you had extended the audio over another clip, that would still be present. You just wouldn't be able to see it anymore in the timeline. So my preference is I prefer to leave the clip expanded if I have done a J cut or an L cut, um, but if I haven't, I will collapse it again. So let's look at an L cut. I'll come to the clip before, expand audio, drag it over. Now you can actually do both at the same time. So if I expand our original clip again, I can still drag that backwards. So you can create some interesting transitions here, and this can be really useful um, to cover up any issues with the audio.